Hi all, as part of your fifth period work this week, what you're going to be doing is, uh, or we're going to be relaunching your wider reading. Now, obviously this shouldn't have uh, stopped, uh, however, uh, it's important that you guys are undertaking this if you want to get the high grades that you've said that uh, you're after. Now, in terms of this, um, expectations as you guys are aware that if you do four hours uh, in class uh, in any class such as economics you then need to match that with a further four hours studying outside of class now obviously some of that may be on completing homework fifth period is encountered that's within your four hours uh, also developing your class notes but also that essential wider reading that will allow you to perform at a high level on the course now that wasn't tested uh, last summer, so it's absolutely crucial that you guys are undertaking that wider reading. Uh, it broadens your knowledge and it allows depth uh, in terms of uh, being able to apply what we teach in class to the real world. Uh, and it's also uh, obviously uh, the, the most fun bit, being able to apply it to the real world. Now, in terms of wider reading, what's included, uh, obviously this can be um, traditional uh, textbooks, this can be magazine articles, it can be news websites, make sure they're, they're good ones, uh, videos uh, and so on. Uh, okay, uh, excellent economics websites tutored to you as you uh, guys should know by now is wonderful uh, and there are a few others mentioned there as well. Now just in terms of this, uh, what you guys uh, can be doing is obviously uh, using the wider reading to develop your notes. You can be um, using it to complete homework, but really uh, it should be developing uh, that breadth of knowledge and being able uh, to um, apply the concepts that we look at in class. So uh, last year uh, we talked about uh, being able to read like an economist and ensuring that you guys had effective wider reading strategies. Every time you read with something, uh, read an economics article, uh, you should be engaging with it. Uh, data response is enormously important. Uh, uh, AS, a whole paper, and A2, uh, uh, half uh, of uh, Unit 3 is looking at data response. Okay, so you've got to be able to critically engage with, uh, with the information. Uh, a quick reminder of what that means, rather than just uh, uh, students underlining material and then just seeing a whole host of things that are underlined or highlighted, uh, we want you to engage with the information. Now, last year when you saw this, you wouldn't have understood quite a few of the terms because it was introduced at an early stage. Uh, but just in terms of this, the Northern Powerhouse, well, this was the, uh, one of the previous chancellors, George Osborne, uh, and basically having that power in the North, uh, a stronger Northern economy. Well, obviously that's a, a specific supply side economy. It will reduce inequalities. Uh, okay, now Boris Johnson has mentioned uh, this as well more recently, and you guys can think of where it's highlighted building the plan. Well, this is good. this is going to take significant government spending. Uh, obviously, this will take time. You guys can think about things like opportunity cost, debt interest. You can think of the context of COVID as well. Okay, so when you're looking at things, try and create a context because that's what you're going to have to do within your exams. Uh, okay, you guys uh, can press, uh, can pause the video uh, and have a look at those and see if uh, you can remember all of those points in relation to that. Uh, what is it? Uh, one detailed paragraph. Uh, alternatively, uh, and again, this is one you saw last year, uh, this was an example in relation to uh, the productivity gap. So uh, this was, uh, sorry, this was an example of me doing it, uh, okay, which we did in class together. Again, by all means, uh, go through and have a little look at uh, what we're talking about. So in terms of that productivity gap uh, against the major nations, obviously this impacts on competitiveness. Uh, you might relate uh, the trade balance uh, to that. Uh, possibly it could push, push us into recession uh, if we weren't competitive and so on. Okay, so that's what you should be looking to do with all your articles looking to engage. Now, there is an alternative strategy and that is rather than um, just, or rather than critically engaging like that, is that you summarize an article. Uh, okay, there's nothing worse than reading a good article uh, and actually a day later, a week later, remembering next to none of the content. So if you find a good article, and uh, as I always say, look for something interesting. I wouldn't read something that was boring, and I don't expect you to. So make sure that you're looking for something interesting. Uh, this is something I've just been through with my um, AS students about um, demand uh, and vinyl uh, uh, 
is back as a headline and it looked interesting uh, and when I went through it actually uh, a significant increase in sales uh, okay which goes against current thinking about the streaming of music uh, and it's not just the middle-aged generation who are developing collections it's actually youngsters also wanting something a bit retro uh, it's actually cool to be able to have something physical and tangible uh, and uh, also uh, the, the belief that vinyl actually um, sounds better for certain uh, types of music such as soul and reggae okay so that's what you guys are, are looking uh, to do uh, I just copied and pasted um, this in uh, before so some examples of motives so one of the things that you guys could be doing at the moment is looking at uh, mergers you could be looking at takeovers uh, and in terms of that you could be looking at the benefits of growth uh, for firms you could be relating it to economies of scale drawing diagrams and so on so I'm just going to go on to uh, the economics uh, due to, to you blog I uh, haven't done anything with this but I know a couple of things that uh, are around so in terms of the sorts of wider reading articles that you guys could come up with uh, obviously anything on development economics uh, uh, obviously we are going to exam uh, and that will be there uh, just in terms of the blog uh, this is without looking at anything again uh, the very first article uh, the secret to tackling uh, corruption so something uh, development uh, there and uh, uh, I'm just going to go back to where I was actually uh, there is uh, this little article here shut down price chain building chains of analysis something that we're going to do this week okay so there's plenty of things that you can look at so if I just uh, type uh, a couple of things uh, for example uh, what might I find interesting in terms of relating it to what we're currently doing in class just wait for this to load uh, there's a, a merger there uh, okay what were the benefits of, uh, of that one uh, just having a little, little look further down so I've got Ladbrokes and, Mer uh, and Coral Mer merger approved what type of integration would that be is that horizontal is it vertical uh, is it uh, one of the others uh, Fisher and Allergen's uh, 150 billion dollar merger Virgin and Zero uh, and O2 uh, okay so try and have a look at these in terms of uh, ones that you think yeah well actually that sounds interesting I want to have a look at that uh, I want a little bit of detail related to uh, current information that I know on the subject um, that, that sounds good uh, okay uh, I'm going to learn something uh, as well as it being interesting uh, you can see a number of uh, things while I'm waiting for that to, to load saying demergers and demergers are basically normally when a companies become too big and they get split up into multiple parts okay so they actually get smaller uh, so in terms of this some great stuff uh, FT video uh, have a look at it evaluating mergers and takeovers what you need for that uh, high level AO4 uh, so just in terms of some real world examples of uh, different firms Just Eat and Hungry House takeover clear uh, cinema buys regal okay so again uh, having a, a little look at some of the uh, key ideas that we've been looking at in class uh, elsewhere uh, I've just typed this in uh, BBC obviously uh, fantastic so just use the search bar uh, in terms of the Guardian uh, in terms of the Guardian obviously if you guys um, go onto the uh, home page one of the things that you will be able to see actually in terms of the news before I look at the economic section is global development how good is this uh, okay so in terms of this uh, again uh, you'll find lots of uh, examples that are going to relate to your global development uh, and your development economics uh, okay so again um, there's going to be some super stuff there and obviously uh, any of the uh, broadsheet papers and their websites uh, uh, a good uh, I like the Guardian one uh, and it's free uh, which is uh, obviously even better uh, okay so just in terms of uh, what's going on uh, obviously lots to do with uh, COVID at, at the moment uh, having a little look now is the, the time for big infrastructure projects is the IMF uh, so supplier side uh, economics uh, there's a fiscal and uh, um, 
uh, that, that there's a, a demand impact as well as a supply impact. Uh, again, uh, make sure that you're pushing your economics forward all the time and relating what we do uh, in class to that. Okay, so in terms of for uh, next week, uh, one of the things that you will have to do is you will have to, uh, as part of the task five, undertake that wider reading uh, and make sure that uh, the information that you provide is either using the effective wider reading strategy uh, where you summarize an article uh, or secondly uh, alternatively and best of all uh, integrating and using the effective wider reading, te reading technique uh, that I've shown you where we engage properly with the material. Uh, okay, hope that's clear. Thanks everyone.